What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I did do a live today uh, earlier on YouTube. I would love for y'all to go check that out. I had to address a couple things because for some reason, a lot of y'all have a lot of things misconstrued on the emotional side of things. And wow, I'm going to do a recap video with this James Wright situation. And then you'll know why I was laughing in the video. Um, and if you took it personally, I ain't going to lie. That's a personal problem. Cause you would know that I don't mean no harm for a person to be attacked in any way and think it, that it's a joke, but ultimately nobody should have put hands on anybody. And if you don't know, he definitely put his hands on her. So I addressed all that on the live. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. This is the update today of what has gone on with Krishan. Shout out to hot tea, hot chocolate. First of all, she uh, had court today again. Um, it did not say that last night. I don't know how that worked. They just, just had a surprise. You got court today? So she had court today. This is her in jail. So um, just wanted y'all to see that. Also, here's the update on her cases. This is why I love how tea out chocolate because she know how to break this. She know how to break this down. Her and um, I'm not a lawyer, but I mess with both of them. Because once again, I'm new, not true. <laughs> I'm a pedestrian. I don't know nothing about this life. Krishan James Wright case update, battery dismissed, assault 30 days. So Krishan update, uh, minor James Wright case, L.A. case, battery dismissed, assault sentence 30 days. Each day in L.A. County is considered double time. So she's been in five days. Those count as 10. She only has to do approximately 10 more days in L.A. Then Oklahoma can extradite her. Now, once again, let's not forget the fact that Oklahoma still has to come pick her up. And let's not negate that, negate that as well. Um, this was Hot Tea Hot Chocolate showing that Krishan had court today. Uh, and it was an arraignment and a plea deal. So Krishan took a plea deal, which I wish she absolutely did not. But we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, yeah, this is assault, no deadly weapon, pleads, no... I, I don't know what this says, but I'm going to show y'all what it is in a minute. Uh, conviction after plea, battery on person with injury, dismissed. So remember, Krishan ain't got no lawyer there unless they appointed a public defender to her. And that's the part I don't know yet. But I want to explain to y'all what it is. Matter of fact, it's on there. Hold on. How T.I. Chocolate actually has it listed. All right, Krishan update. Krishan was placed on a summary probation in L.A. County for 12 months, which only means check in once a month and don't get into trouble. <laughs> Along with the 30 days for the misdemeanor assault charge, she is now serving the remainder of the time while the battery charge has been dismissed. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now. And for those that don't know, in the situation with James and Krishan, James touched Krishan first. Now, y'all did say he has a civil suit. And quite frankly, if Krish if Krishan take him to court and actually pay her damn lawyers, she would get off because he shouldn't have put his hands on her. So y'all wondering why I was laughing. And, you know, if I got time today, I'm going to go into the archives of all his friends coming out saying what happened and how their stories wasn't adding up and all this extra shit that was going on. Yeah. James put his hands on Krishan first. Did he hit her? No, but he wanted to comfort her. He wanted to comfort her after he, after all of them treated her like she was a stepchild uh, lost on the side of the street. So when he decided to show some comfort, she felt the flaw and she hit his ass in the face. Okay. After Tamar begged her to come, uh, they clowned her in there. Uh, he decided to comfort her. With that fake comfort, she hit him in the face. Once again, Krishan is wrong for hitting him in the face. What she should have said was get the hell off me. But you can't tell a person how to react when they being touched. Okay? So I think a lot of y'all really not getting that. You're not. But I'm going to explain it again. Don't put your hands on people. Whether you're trying to comfort somebody, whether you're trying to be cool with somebody, whether you're trying to just let somebody know something, don't put your hands on people. All right. If he didn't, he probably wouldn't be in this situation. OK, now she probably would have raised some hell with some objects in there. But I don't think nobody would have got touched if she didn't get touched. So 
if she goes to court, well, she has to go to court because he does have a civil suit. Um, definitely, I I definitely think she should pay her lawyer. And I promise you, she will have to pay for his medical bills. And that's it. Stop putting your hands on people. The end. She should have put her hands on him. He should have put his hands on her. All right. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, What else happened? I, I, it's a lot going on with Chastity. We're going to talk about Chastity in a minute. Uh, but let me just read some of these comments. Uh, she don't have to check in with nobody. Oh, let me talk about why she shouldn't have taken this um, this uh, probation. First of all, she's already on probation and can't follow that. Okay, let's talk about that. Um, what does I want to show y'all what this probation is? So, Krishan actually took a no contest plea, which means there won't be a trial now. That's the plea deal that she took. As you can see, it was an arraignment and a plea. Because y'all y'all be thinking this stuff get pulled out people ass and this information is on the internet. But it's our job to look it up. Your job to watch, clearly. <laughs> so if you're watching it and you understand it, cool, debate. Say what you think is going to happen. But for a lot of y'all, the same people create narratives and we getting this off of the good Google internet that Beyonce owns. I don't understand where y'all coming from. But anyway... A no contest plea means there won't be a trial. This is useful in cases where a trial, where a trial's outcome is uncertain or where the person charged would be, prefer not to have the case out in public. It also means the victim can't use the plea in a civil case um, later to prove guilt. So remember, he does have a civil case. Um, it says also the victim can't use the plea in a civil case, in a civil, civil case case later to prove guilt which means that won't go in his favor um because he is the victim not her so i just wanted to put that out there y'all can give whatever opinion it is you want to give on it once again have your opinions with some respect and i will respond no problem all right um now let's read some of these comments so i wonder what tamar and james has to say now they did her dirty and tried to try so hard to set her up for it only to backfire in their faces look at god look how god works okay you don't have to check in on summary probation why because summary probation is informal probation in california yes staying out of trouble for the summary probation period is mandatory i had three years summary probation i never got contacted about probation nor did i have to check in for it all right so also says so no more hold Yes, she has a hold in Oklahoma. She got to go see Oklahoma no matter what y'all talking about. <laughs> That's why I don't understand why y'all sent anybody any money for a bail or a bond. That is y'all fault. If you lost money in that, that's your fault. Everybody is literally coming here telling you the news. Literally showing you the facts from the internet, which means from the L.A. County, uh, LA County Jail website updating you on what's going on and you still decide to send some money <laughs> y'all gonna be mad i laughed at that too i mean why would you send some money to anybody and it literally says no bail let me go back here again booking records bruh no bail it has said no bail since the beginning Day one, no bail. First day, no bond. Actually, it was twenty thousand, but the uh, it was twenty thousand for the James situation, which they knocked down to a dollar, but not the Oklahoma situation. So, uh, what y'all want me to do? Okay, but I am gonna give y'all a breakdown of this Tamar James situation. I can't wait. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna take some time and get these my receipts together and all the videos that I've reacted to and get to reposting some things. So y'all understand what the hell going on. He touched her first. Did he hit her? Nope. He attempted to comfort her. You can't be in somebody's space when they ain't in a good head space. But not only that, by law, you ain't supposed to touch nobody because it's called what? Battery. So if anything, he's not going to get nothing. Like I said from the beginning. <laughs> He, he'll have to take i mean she should have to take care of them um hospital bills and if i was her i would have gave him bread a long time ago so i wouldn't have to deal with it and just to take care of his hospital bills but he want to go through with it 
Let's see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Yeah, you know what? And one more thing. This had nothing to do with the fact that he was a man with y'all and y'all projections because he a man, you laughing. No. First of all, you hit me and knock my teeth out. I'm hitting you back. If I'm a man or not, I don't care. And y'all know how the law is. The law is if somebody hits you, hit their ass back. That's what the law would technically, you ain't supposed to hit nobody back. However, self-defense is a thing. I didn't say he had to drag her up and down LA County streets. But what I'm saying is he could have hit, he could have hit her ass back. Krishan is 185 pounds. It actually says on here. And he's about 300 and something. He should have hit her ass back period. So this is not a bully situation. She didn't bully that man. So anyway, I'm done with this video. Let me know what y'all think. Bye.